the point in time when the judge says, I'm not between those in the light and those in the dark so that those in the dark can come to the light Amen. we need to be willing to be radically changed in our life and that there is a difference in our life and that we don't ascribe to the darkness we don't walk in the twilight zones anymore there's a distinction and we should be bold and courageous where that is concerned I believe that things will go well for those that belong to God and things will not go so well for those who do not. And the invitation is this, if you don't belong to God, come to God, come to Jesus. Oh, not a better time in history for you to come to Jesus. Come out of the darkness and come into the light. Come, into, come to the one who loved you enough to die for you. Come to the one who's not trying to kill you, he's trying to give you life. Come to the one who's happy to have you, not the one who just wants it that can't stand you and, say, and secretly hate you and would kill you if he could. No, come to Jesus. No greater time. I believe there are people listening to me today, both near and far, that God's been working in your heart. The Spirit of God is not limited. The wonderful thing about this kingdom is, oh, it's not with observation. It's here or there and a great gathering or great commotion. No. The kingdom of God is working within men and women. The Spirit of God is down on A Street and sees your riches. Don't trust in the riches. It's shown all the stock market can give you a billion tomorrow and then the next day wipe it all out back again. See? No true riches are having, having treasure in heaven. Then your name would be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. This we should boast in, that we know God and He knows us and our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And we're safely in the fold. But you know, there are many today uh, that we could say this in setting the oppressed go free. God wants the oppressed to get to go free.